last trip to leisure centres and swimming pools, but churches, synagogues, mosques and temples will be open for communal worship. Organised outdoor sport will resume. And in every tier, you will be able to meet others in parks and in public gardens subject to the rule of six. And every one of those things has been, uh, by necessity, restricted until today. Every one of them to be allowed again tomorrow. Uh, and of course, I accept that this is not a return to normality. I wish it was so. But it is a bit closer to normality than the present restrictions. And what we can't do is to lift all the restrictions at once or move too quickly in such a way that the virus would begin to spread rapidly again. And that would be the surest way of endangering our NHS and forcing us into a New Year lockdown with all the costs that that would impose. And I... The following is Labour's reply, which is a bit of a sickening reply, because they're not even bloody voting against it. So this is what he said. I think this is completely wrong, because if you're not going to bloody vote, why should you have a say? But being politically correct... The vaccine may now be in sight, and we must do everything we can to encourage take-up and make sure that it's rolled out quickly, fairly and safely. But, Mr Speaker, the questions before this House today are these. How can we save as many lives and livelihoods as possible until we reach the light at the end of that tunnel? And are the measures that the Prime Minister has announced today going to control the virus and provide the right support to communities worst affected by these restrictions? Now, Labour has supported the government in two national lockdowns, and I recognise the need for continuing restrictions. And I do recognise that the tiers have been toughened, as it was obvious to everyone that the previous tiers were a one-way street to Tier 3. But I'm far from convinced by what the Prime Minister has said today. In particular, the economic package is nowhere near sufficient to support the communities most affected. And they've been suffering for many months. I'll just make some progress and I'll come back. I also fear that without the right health measures in place, in particular a working trace and isolate system, there are real risks that this plan is incapable of controlling the virus this winter. That's his reply. Well, what a waste of time that was. If you're not going to vote for it and not going to say anything about it, why bother saying anything at all? And this is the tier system explained by someone called Laura Foster. The new three-tier system in England is tougher than it was last time. Tier 1, that's medium risk. Here you have to stick to the rule of six and keep your distance from everyone. Unless you live with them, you're in a bubble with them, or you're in a serious relationship with them. You should continue to work from home where you can. You can do an exercise class or play sport outdoors, but indoors the rule of six applies. Gyms, shops and things like beauty salons and hairdressers can be open. Up to 4,000 fans can gather and watch a match or a competitive event, whether indoors or outdoors. And pubs, restaurants and other hospitality venues... Last orders will be 10pm, but you've got until 11 to finish your drinks. In Tier 2, that's a high-risk area. Same rules as Tier 1, but you're no longer allowed to mix indoors with other households unless they're in your bubble. But you can still meet people outdoors while sticking to that rule of six. You can still exercise indoors with people from outside your household or bubble as long as you're keeping your distance from them. And only 2,000 fans can gather to watch any live event or sports match. Pubs and bars must close completely unless they can operate as restaurants. Tier 3 is for very high-risk areas. The same rules as Tier 2 apply. But you're still not allowed to mix indoors with other households unless they're in your bubble. When meeting people outdoors, you can see them in a public space like a park or at the beach, but you cannot meet in private gardens. You can only exercise indoors with the people you live with or you're in a bubble with. No spectators are allowed to watch sports and pubs, restaurants and other hospitality venues can only be open for takeaways. Indoor entertainment venues, including hotels, have to close and mass testing will be used to help stop COVID from spreading. Yeah, did you get that, folks? They are. Wear a mask. Keep social distancing. And wash your hands. And if you're going to be, we need the tier system. Otherwise, it'd be another lockdown. We don't want that, do we? 
So you are, that's the quick news, not in brief, but just my kind of news.